Hello everyone and welcome back to my Pokemon Vault White 2 Egglock. Um, I think we're still in Castella City after last episode. Yes, we are. Uh, and we're going to evolve Lily Bubba in this episode. It's been a long time coming, but it's finally night time, and we finally have a Razor Fang. I got it from the Subway. Um, subway Battle Subway. Sorry, I got it actually before last episode, but it wasn't night, so we couldn't up uh, upload him. Couldn't evolve him. Uh, and I guess we have to go up here and uh, walk through all of this. Hopefully, the, the damn it. <laughs> Oh, Alright, bed training for uh, Lily Bubba then, just to get that level up. Who can we start off with? Who can we start off with? What can we start off with? I'm very, um, well, it is almost, you know, 10 and I shouldn't, shouldn't really be recording this late. I don't usually record late. I usually record early afternoon time. Uh, grow tool, keep battling. Acrobatics is again. And that is that. Almost leveled up already. So that should be uh, fun to evolve. Lily Bubba finally. And then we have to try and get the Toxic Orb, which is like 18 battle points. Oh, Cheren, really? Yep, low drop around Lacanosa Town. Oh, we got HMO Free Surf. I guess we're going to teach that to um, to Bubbles, I guess. Unless someone else can learn it. I don't know. But it is a. Or well, Happy can learn it. So he's a special attack. But I'm, I'm going to teach it to Happy, actually. Because Happy is a special attacker. So we will get rid of. Is it? No, it's a physical attacker, isn't it? Damn it. No. I think at least if we check stats. Yeah, it's a physical attacker, but it's actually got quite high. Um, quite high special attack as well, so I suppose it will teach it to a. Uh, happy. we got no other choice, really. Don't want to teach it to bubbles because it's a, it's a physical attacker, so. What should we get rid of? Thunder Wave still needs, so we get rid of Coil. Don't use it a whole lot. And that's that, so now we shall head on to Charge 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 Yeah, it's Charge Stone Cave, isn't it? Oh, and then it's uh yeah, him thing. It's Cabalion. And it's rude again. Da -da -da. Good to know boys, good to know. Thank you. Right, into Charge Stone Cave we go. We can catch Pokemon here. So I'm just gonna switch out to Happy for a second. We need to give Bubbles an item ready, but we haven't got anything to give it. There we are. It's a Joltik. So, Thunder Wave. And what can we use against it? Well, we'll send out Sparker to fight against its pre evolution. And we can now use Bug Bite. Oh dear. Uh, yeah, we're pretty over leveled here. Oh well. Right, uh, we didn't get Pokemon here, but it's my fault. Should now talk to Bianca, I suppose. And she says, Do you want to go together, is it? Or. Nope, not, to, not yet. We need to push that that way. Let's get the items down here, which is a full heal, which is helpful, I think. Golbat, we don't care about you. We'll actually use repels this time. Um. Oh yeah, um, I think I was going to talk about in the last episode towards the end. I caught Volcarona in Relic Castle, but we actually already caught a Pokemon in Relic Castle. If you don't remember, it was like over. It was a Sandile over by a Desert Resort. Now, obviously, I caught that and I actually evolved Emboar, evolved Tepig up to an Emboar after the episode. I forgot to show you that, but um, do you want me to keep that Pokemon because, uh, well, technically, well, we already got a Pokemon from the area, you see, so no, let's not kill Lily Bubba just before he's about to evolve. That would not be fun. Uh, so we'll start to have bubbles. Um, yeah, so do you want me to keep that Pokemon? We could keep it until next time we catch a Pokemon in, in an area that's over level 40, and then we could just kind of switch it out that way, or I could just say it's, you know, it was an event Pokemon. So I should really be able to use stuff like that, you know? So leave your thoughts about that in the comments below. Oh, it's Lily Bubba's time. I'm assuming it's it's night time, it's almost ten o'clock here. So um let's see, shall we? Yes we are. Let's go. Hopefully it won't lose its um hidden ability though, because that might happen. I don't know, some people have said it might happen. Who knows? But this should power up Lily Bubba quite a lot. Don't know, I should do that. And yep, that's that. Okay, let's check if it's got its hidden ability. Hypercutter, right. Now it hasn't got its hidden ability. Now I'm gonna ask you again about this. Do you want I, I can go into Poker Gen and I can switch its, its ability back to its hidden ability, which is poison heal, which is what it what it, what it was in in 
quotation marks. That's what um, Lili Baba, Mr. Lili Baba, who sent it to me, intended it to be. He intended it to be Poison Hill. That's what he chose. But oh, well, he, he, he was going to get Gliscor in the first place, but then put it down to a Gligar and forgot to change his ability to uh, Immunity. And then Immunity would have gone to Poison Hill. So, do you want me to change it? Or will you allow me to change it? Obviously, I'd like to change it into Poison Hill again, instead of... Um, Hypercutter, because Poison Hill was what was intended for this Pokemon, so uh, I guess I'm going to leave that down to you again, leave your thoughts in the comments section below. So, uh, what do we want to train now? Bubbles, out you go. And actually there's a scientist there, let's not use Bubbles. Let's use Volcano. Uh, item. Focus Band. Boom. A Dark Gem. And yep, well done. And what have we got? Trubbish. Guess we'll be using Earthquake. And that was fairly easy. We're still going to be fairly over level, to be honest. Um, unfortunately. For a bit, because we could have gone, um, I think we could have gone up here and done these battles before the gym. So, you know, we would have been over leveled anyway. But obviously, we train up loads for the gym because the gyms are extremely hard in this ROM hack. Especially with all the new strategies and moves in Generation 5. Harder than ever before. We can't go up here, so we have to go down here, obviously. An Everstone, that's very helpful for us, isn't it? Yep, we'll use another of those. And then there's Core Rest. Do we have a Battle Core Rest today? I'm not sure. There's this guy here, obviously. Oh, it's Drug Battle. So Volcano is sort of in the wrong place. Earthquake, we don't want to use that. But we can then use Ice Punch on the Source Buck. And Acrobatics on... Actually, no, wait. Bulldoze on... No, Bubbles will get hurt by that. So, Garbantula. So, Vaporeon is still alive and well. Source Buck, use Horde and Leech, but we survived that. And Source Buck's now gone. So it's just Vaporeon we need to deal with, and it's raised its defense. So we use Dragon Pulse again, and well, Bubbles isn't very, very helpful because it's raised defense, but we can't do anything here. So we'll just use Screech on no one. Yep, Bubbles took him out. That's good. Very good indeed. Bubbles leveled up as well. So we're going to switch Bubbles out for. Actually, a Volcano is front. Silly me. Uh, now we have to do this a special double way, don't we? Like that. No, not like that at all. Down we go, up we come. Thank you. And we got a magnet. Should we give the magnet to... Yeah, I guess we will be putting, giving the magnet to... Uh, I will say, yeah, I, I didn't show this on camera. I got a covenant ore, which is for making ones that re uh, react, uh, revolve through trading. So if we get one of those in the future, yep, yeah, switch it. So we now have powered up electric type move. And this guy wants to battle. No, he's the Nugget Man. Okay, and the Nugget Boy. It's like Batman and Robin. And thing up here. People. Yeah, we don't really care. And there's a Ranger. He has a Tropius. Is it Tropius or Trophius? One of those. And I suppose we'll finish off with Dragon Pulse. Heat more. Uh, we'll stay and use Earthquake, I think. Even though Earthquake's a. Uh, he's gonna snatch our move, but it wouldn't affect us anyway, so that's good. Flamethrower. It's a special type move, uh, and yeah, we're special type attackers, aren't we, idiot me? So we definitely wanna get rid of Flame Burst. Because the extra damage it does to, se uh, to separate. To uh, equivalent? No. Um, Perpendicular? No, um, no, it's maths. Um, Perpendicular. Uh, no, I have no idea. Oh, a car boost, lovely. Yep, use another of those. Go down here again. Um, I'm trying to think to the adjacent Pokemon, that's it. To adjacent Pokemon and double triple battles, it's hardly any damage at all, so there's not much point really. We might as well battle for a flamethrower. Ferrothorn. We really should have stayed in here with, um, with Charizard then, but oh well. And we've now got to deal with. And yeah, we shall now finish off with you another Electro Ball. And that was her only Pokemon, which is why it's so high leveled, level 40. Now we have a nurse, or a doctor, sorry. Yeah, 
It could have been a nurse, it's a, it's a guy. Don't be a sexist though, yeah. That's all Dino gone. Blissey, yeah, we'll stay in for that. We'll use Bug Bite instead of Electro Ball. Because of Blissey's terrible defences. And it's the Slash then. Okay, he's using a Hyper Potion. Bit of a noob. And, yep, yeah, that's a lot of experience. And Leovani will switch in again. We'll switch in, stay in again. And once more. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh, that's a dog trio. Run away. Okay, there's nothing down there at all. So we'll head further up and switch Sparker out now to Happy. Just let her circle around me for a bit. Uh, where was I? Da -da -da. Dragon Claw. Dragon Claw once more. Smoochum. It's dead again. Oops, this is Smoochum. Oh well. Doesn't really matter. Fortress. We'll switch out to Volcano. Keep forgetting to call them by their nicknames. Flamethrower. Sturdy, that's annoying, but it's gonna go, uh, it's gonna go die now. Jinx, we could stay in again here, but we'll switch out to Makaija. For its night slashing abilities. And that is that. So now, up to there, yep, we'll only use another of those. Can't, oh, we can go down here. TN91 Flash Cannon is a steel type move, I believe. So, um, yeah, right. I guess we go down here and train a bit more before we head to the sea Bianca. Ferro Seed. Hmm. Dragon Claw, I'm guessing. Not going to do a whole lot of damage. We can't use Surf either because of its grassness. Let's use Self Destruct. So I wasted all my time. Um, stay in, I suppose. Dragon Claw. And yep, yeah, that's done. Oh, item. Nope. Battle with a dog trio. And we use Surf. Just to uh, troll him a bit. Because we might not be able to get away because of Arena Trap, I think, in case it had it. TN24 Thunderbolt. Um, we could teach that to Sparker, but I do believe Sparker is. Oh no, it's a special attack, we're teaching it to him. Uh, I'm assuming it can learn Thunderbolt. Yes, it can. Because Electro Ball is a, well it's depending on the f speed of the user, so we'll get rid of Electro Ball for Thunderbolt. We could have had both, but oh well. Flash Cannon is a steel type, as I said. Could we teach anyone? No, nope, not one at all. Battleist Ace Trainer up here. Oh, he's got a Rampardos. So we'll surf it. Cloister. Yeah, I might want to get rid of that. Get, oh, get, not get rid of it. Get out of there. In case it has an ice type move. Which it probably does. Since he's switching it in. Brick Break. Is, uh, yeah, it is the ice type. Just had to remember that. It is the ice type. Oh my. Volcano, because it's got Dragon Pulse. I think Volcano might be quite useful for uh, Drake's gym. Cacturn. Kaija again, I'm supposing. Do we still have Aerial Ace? No, we got rid of it. Mega Horn. But that's going to be ultra effective against it, so all is good. Yep, we're being serious here. One more. Thunderstone. So, in case we need to evolve someone, like Pikachu, if we use it in the end. But uh, we'll have to see. Another triple battle, or a rotation battle, actually. Oh, and she's got all three of these. What a badass. And she's moved. That's just a rumor plan. Oh, no. We better rotate, shouldn't we? Can we rotate? Yeah, we do. Um, here we got Bubbles and Lily Boa, so that way. So we'll put. Yeah, that's right. And I'm gonna use. Hmm. I'm gonna use Aquatail. Okay, she. I thought she might switch again. But now we're gonna use Ice Punch. Okay, that was a bad choice. But we froze her. And use take down. So now we use Aquatail again. Take out Emboar. And she's going to move around to that one. So now I'm just going to use Aquatail again. 
No. Oh, okay, it just used coil. That's good. But now I want to switch around to Lily Bubba, which is a bad move, actually. Switch out, maybe, to... Hmm... Sparker, because it's got advantages against both of them. Dragon Tail is going to make it switch out to Volcano. Okay, I'm good with that. But it might, it's going to switch around to, she's going to switch around to Samurai, it's going to use Earthquake instead. Okay, that's um, just completely just going against what I think you're going to do. So I'll just flame throw you. But now it's going to be faster than me, so I, I want to avoid uh, a strong water type attack. And we've got Lily Bubba to switch around to, which isn't great, so switch out to Makaija. Revenge, didn't really attack you, so it's not going to do much. And we should now use Brick Break. Good game. It's a kind of a, a challenging rotation battle because usually in the normal games I just have to uh, like attack. Right, so yeah, we want to use a hyper potion here. Hyper potions at the no, wrong way. There we are. There we go. Assuming he wants battle, yes, he does. Numel. Have a surf. Level up. No, maybe not. Not quite yet. Dragon Claw. And Dragon Claw once again. Level up for happy. Dragon Rush now. That's 175. That's 80, 100. But this makes the target flint. May also make the target. I think it's accuracy 75 though, which isn't too great. So I'm not going to learn it. I like having moves that always hit. Or not always hit, but hit most of the time and do a medium map damage. Instead of no damage at all if they miss. So now Bianca's here. Right, okay. We're just gonna stand there. Or is she gonna follow us now? Who should we switch in? Everyone's learnt what they everyone's leveled up. So we'll just uh wait for this girl to come down here. And we shall battle her with Gliscor. Now our first battle array with Gliscor, because I wouldn't count just now a battle because it was just on the edge all the time. Flareon will stay in and use Bulldoze. Yan Mega will stay in again and will use Acrobatics once again. I should really... Gardevoir. Hmm. I guess we'll switch out to Mekaija. To use Night Slash. And Trace the Moxie. Hmm. But I wasn't letting her, I wasn't planning on letting her faint any of my Pokemon, so it's not much of a threat. Um, oh, it's got rid of Razor Fang now, has it? Automatically by leveling up. So that's where we came in. So now we have a fight down here. Clang. We use Bulldoze. This has got, no, it hasn't got Levitate, okay. Harayama. Can you stay and use Acrobatics? Hiker Hi Otto. Reminds me of Otto from um, The Simpsons. I think there's an Otto in there, isn't it? And there we are, Miss Jolton City. So we'll run in and heal up. Thank you very much. And look, it is a. Uh, it's. No, thank you. It's Thingy. I don't know his name. But we're not going to battle him. Just because I haven't battled any yet so far, and it would feel wrong just to battle half of them. Um, oh, a HP up. Lovely. What do you want? Oh, come back here, boy. Okay, it's good. So, we'll just go up here. I think Juniper, yep. Yeah. It's Duniper. Duniper? Juniper. We got a Master Ball, lovely. And, yep. Yeah, Skylar, da da da. Sky, Skylar, Skylar. Yep, yeah, you. We'll go to Celestial Tower first, because I don't want to start battling her in this episode. But we'll do what we can around here first, which is nothing, I don't think. I don't think we can do anything, can we? Apart from item down here. There it is. There's no greenhouses here. Hmm. Is that only in spring? I'm not sure. Or it might be game exclusive, I'm not sure. Really? Oops. Right, so down to route whatever it is. Route 7. Okie dokie. And that's a battle of breeder. Chime Cho. Started the rain, so what am I doing? Just use superpower again, Jesus. I didn't even click that. I was going to click Aquatail since it's raining, so we have a rain boost. 
Now this isn't going to do much because it lowered our attack, but okay, did come out. Simi Seer, now we're just staying. And yep, that's the sweep done. So now we can switch out to Volcano. Oh, this is gonna kinda, yep. Rotation battle, great. This volcano is in the center, so now we'll use flamethrower. Oh dear, oh dear indeed. So many fire types. Earthquake, yes, screwed. Which one's he gonna go around to? Uh, I'm gonna use earthquake and yep, because he rotated again. So now that's good. So now we can use flamethrower. And didn't even do that much damage. What's going on here? Oh yeah, because of the fire. Because of the fire? Because of the rain, that's why. So Volcano is not really the greatest guy to use on this route. But we're going to use him nonetheless. Oh, and this is a new Pokemon we can catch, so... Yes, switch out to Happy. Happy is our resident Thunder Waver. Now we're paralyzed as well, that's great. Right, and who's got moves that are really effective against a Poison type? Sparker, usually. Yep. And uh, once more. And it cured itself of paralysis. You noob. Find the wave again. Hopefully it won't cure itself like the turn we use it, because that'd be annoying. Ugh. Thank you. And now we use no one needs a master ball, my own uh timer ball since we've been here for quite a while, to be honest. Yep, we did it. We caught the Viper. No. A Zinc. And yep, a Fungus, as I, as I suspected. And use Fly because Fire type moves. Well, probably should kick it out, but meh. And we should now run away to go and switch this Pokemon out for an egg. I, I forgot I was going to put some more eggs on this episode, before this episode, but I forgot, so um. Kill me. Right, so there's, uh, there's, back, there's bake on there. Um, obviously, we'll keep it if you want me to keep it, or we'll get rid of it if you want me to get rid of it. Or we could just keep it and save it for an, when we start catching Pokemon that are over level 40 in the wild. We could then, you know, take that instead. So, um, let's leave that for a second. Um, <clears> hmm. <throat> hmm. Got to choose which box to take out. I think I'm going to take it out here because it looks f fairly steevy. Hmm. Torch, Nikki, Rogue. I think Rogue's going to be a cool one to use, whatever it may be. And switch out for Sviper. And then switch it out for Heracross. But we'll have to check what level Sviper was. 36, wasn't it? Yep, it was level 36. So, hatching time. It's a shiny Dunsparce, but it probably won't be shiny in the end. So it was Rogue, wasn't it? So not really a great Pokemon to use on a team, but is it shiny in the end? Yes, it was. Someone did it right. I don't know if it was me, me that did it right or someone else. But yeah, that's still pretty cool. We got a shiny Dunsparce, but um, probably won't use it in the end. <sighs> right, we'll just level up quickly now to level 36. Red candies are at the bottom. This is going to take a while. So um, what can I talk to you about? Um, yeah, Sunday evening now. You'll probably be watching this either Sunday evening or Monday afternoon, depending on where you are in the world. Sunday evening if uh, if you're in the in America, or late at night, wherever. Or Monday afternoon if you're in the UK, or conversely Monday morning if you are off school, or whatever else you do. Because it goes up at 7 o'clock in the morning where I live, uh, and that would be... Well, obviously America's huge, so there's loads of different places there. Um, yawn, yeah, may as well get rid of roll out. That's not a safe move for an egglock. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think because there's so many different places in or around America. Obviously, time zones, there's lots of different time zones, so I can't really keep up with you all. Get rid of Screech. Da -da -da. But yeah, the UK is just one time zone, so it's easy. And there's Roost, which is kind of strange, but we'll take it anyway. Ten levels left. 
can see it's the leveling out, it's not the leveling, it's the move choosing. It takes a while. Because obviously I want it to have good moves in case I do decide to use it later on. Four. No, too risky. Too risky. Okay, and there we are. So let's have some more battles on that route, and then we will... And then a live bump, put it there, and then quit. Okay. We didn't get Heracross back out, did we? Idiot. Idiot me. It's so annoying, I have to switch from mouse to use the touch screen if I want to use that. Um, and then I have to get my fingers back to use arrow keys. But I've always got fingers on the spacebar, and the uh, spacebar I use to speed it up. I've changed it just so it's easier for me to use. And I've got Z and A as A and B, whichever way around. I don't even know which way around they are. Tokuwa for Gengar. We have a Tokuwa, it's in the computer. Oh, actually we don't because I got rid of it for some reason. I don't know. Who knows? And a triple battle. Lovely. In the rain, so Volcano's going to be no good. Oh, we didn't heal up. I'm in such an idiot. Acrobatics on... Wait, what should I use Acrobatics on? Unfazant. And Dragon Claw on Vullaby. Yep, that's that. Defog. Better switch happy out now. Dragon Pulse. Uh, acrobatics and switch out. No, oh dear. Acrobatics and switch out to who knows, Sparker. And we'll run back and heal ourselves up since I forgot to do it. Idiot. Such an idiot. Sparker leveled up. And yep, that is that done. So run back. Oh dear. Jesus. Sometimes the breeders get really annoying if you have to um keep battling them. If you run into them accidentally. Or if they're just on a part of the route you have to go through. It's even worse. So yeah, I understand this is the second time you're watching this battle in this episode, but uh, sorry about that. Okay, that's good, we'll run back now. And there's a TM, I just remember we can get there, so we'll get that now. I tell you, if I was doing what uh, PD Winnell did with his Platinum Egg uh, Nuzlocke, whereas you can only use each Pokemon Center twice, I think it was. Oh, that's a shaky big piece of grass. Just an audio. But we're going to take it out and get a, a ton of experience. That's why Audino is the best way to train in these games. Pretty much. Um, we're quite overleveled though, so if you were about to say... Oh, no! Damn! God! Oh, earthquake. You use Levitate, that's just annoying. I'm not going to sleep. I'm taking you out. But now we're going to get a sleeper now, yeah. Switch out to Makaija. Right, I guess this is the last thing we're going to do in this episode, guys, because I don't want—I don't, want, don't want this episode to be over half an hour. So, um, just switch out of O's. And that is that. So I'm just going to head back to Milstreet in the city. Um, so right, yeah, this is the last thing we're going to do in this episode, guys. In the next episode, we'll head up that route. We'll probably take out Celestial Tower, then head towards Twist Mountain, take out those trainers. Um, but obviously, we can't go in it yet. And then it'll probably be the episode after we challenge the gym because there's so much stuff to do up there. But yeah, thank you for watching, guys. It's been a to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, I will see you next time. Goodbye.